Welcome to our first video blog entry. My name is Paul Phillips and I'll be your guide as we examine some of the more common e-learning issues you'll encounter when you're getting started in this complex field. Our goal with this video blog is to offer some tips and advice for those of you that might be new to e-learning. So let's get started. If you're just getting ready to build your first e-learning course, you may or may not realize it all starts with the storyboard. That's where your original concept gets organized into something either presentable to a vendor or simply serves as a platform for others to participate in the building process. Whatever the case may be, I can't stress enough how important it is to use some type of screen numbering system so that when you're migrating from your storyboard program to a web program like Flash, you'll have a way to quickly reference which screen or slide you're working on. This is crucial if your course is being built via vendor. Just imagine calling your vendor and saying something like, you know that paragraph in the electronics section? I think we need to tweak it. You want to be able to say, I want to make a change on screen 2-04, second paragraph, and the change is exactly this. Believe me, this will save you countless hours, especially if your course is of any length or complexity, and being delivered in multiple languages. Well, that's it for the intro, and next up we'll be talking about software choices for storyboards. So until then, thanks for watching.